I remember going to the British Museum one day to read up the treatment for some slight ailment of, of which I had a touch. Hay fever, I fancy it was. I got down the book and read all I came to read, and then in an unthinking moment I idly turned the leaves and begun to indolently study diseases, generally. I forget which was the first distemper I plunged into, some fearful, devastating scourge, I know. And before I had glanced half down the list of premonitory symptoms, it was borne in upon me that I had fairly got it. I sat for a while, frozen with horror, and then in the listlessness of despair, I again turned over the pages. I came to typhoid fever, read the symptoms, discovered that I had typhoid fever, must have had it months without knowing it, wondered what else I had got. Turned up some vitus stance, found, as I expected, that I had that too. Began to get interested in my case and determined to sift it to the bottom, and so started alphabetically. Read up ague and learnt that I was sickening for it, and that the acute stage would commence in about another fortnight. Bright's disease, I was relieved to find, I had only in a modified form, and that, so far as that was concerned, I might live for years. Cholera I had with severe complications, and diphtheria I seemed to have been born with. I plodded conscientiously through the 26 letters, and the only malady I could conclude I had not got was housemaid's knee. I thought rather heard about this at first. It seemed somehow to be a sort of slight. Why hadn't I got housemaid's knee? Why this invidious reservation? After a while, however, less grasping feelings prevailed. I reflected that I had every other known malady in the pharmacology and I grew less selfish and determined to do without housemaid's knee. Gout, in its most malignant stage, it would appear, had seized me without my being aware of it. And zymosis, uh, I had been suffering uh, with from childhood. <laughs> well, there were no more diseases after zymosis. So I concluded there was nothing else the matter with me. I sat and pondered. I thought, what an interesting case I must be from a medical point of view. What an acquisition I should be to a class. Students would have no need to walk the hospitals if they had me. I was a hospital in myself. All they would need to do is walk around me and after that, take their diploma. <laughs>